In this question, we are given that y is equal to the square root of, according to the question, it is secant x plus tangent x. Differentiating these ones will get us an equation that will involve dy dx, but what I think we can do is to try to do a bit of manipulation and improvisation to what we have first before we start our differentiation. I think the differentiation process will be easier and possibly we are going to be able to show this faster also. So what I'm going to try to do is to square both sides before I start differentiating. So on the left hand side, I'm going to be getting a y square and on the right hand side, I will have a secant x plus tangent x. And now I am ready to differentiate. On the left hand side, applying implicit differentiation, we have a 2y dy dx. This is going to be equal to differentiating secant x is secant x tangent x. And differentiating tangent x is secant square x. So we have a 2y dy dx is equal to, I'm going to factorize out secant x which will then leave me with a tangent x here and just one secant x here. And what is tangent x plus secant x? Tangent x plus secant x is y squared. And what is secant x? Secant x is 1 over cosine x. So this, let me rewrite it, 1 over cosine x. And here we have a y squared. So 2y dy dx is equal to this. Multiplying cosine across and dividing y across, we will now get a 2 cosine x dy dx is equal to y squared divided by y. And that gives me y. And actually, this is what we are supposed to show in part 1. In part 2, we are supposed to derive at another equation that involves d squared y dx squared. So let's take this equation, which has dy dx, and let's differentiate it one more time. So applying the product rule to the left-hand side when I differentiate, I will be getting a 2 cosine x. I'm letting this remain the same. Differentiating this is d squared y dx squared. Then plus 2 differentiating cosine x gives me a minus sine x. Then dy dx. This is equal to differentiating this is dy dx. And I'm going to bring this over to the left-hand side. So we have a 2 cosine x d square y dx square minus away 2 sine x dy dx this being brought over to the left hand side minus dy dx this is equal to 0 so we have a 2 cosine x d square y dx square minus factorizing out the negative we will have a 2 sine x plus 1, then dy dx, this is equal to 0, and this is what we are supposed to show in part 2. And in this last part, let's try to find the Maclaurin's series for this. So to do that, we need to work out part of the coefficients of this expanded form of the expanded Maclaurin's series. So we're going to let x be equal to 0. So we're going to find what is y when x is equal to 0, so that will be square root of secant 0 plus tangent 0. Secant 0 is 1, tangent 0 is 0, so we have a square root of 1, and that will give me y to be equal to 1. Let's try to find out what is dy dx when x is equal to 0. It is going to be equal to y, which is 1, divided by 2 cosine x. x is equal to 0, so cosine 0 is 1, so this will be 1 over 2. And let's find out one more, which is d square y dx square. Let's try to get a value of this when x is equal to 0, so making use of what we have found out in part 2. So we will make d square y dx square the subject. This bring it over to the right-hand side. It is going to be 2 sine x, which is 0, plus 1, multiplied by dy dx, that is 1 over 2. Then divide this by 2 cosine x, where x is 0. So here is 0. So this will lead us to a 1 quarter. Therefore, the Maclaurin's expanded form for y, which is also for this square root of secant x plus tangent x, is going to be equal to 1 plus this half x plus this 1 over 4 divided by 2 factorial multiplied by x squared and so on. So here we get the first three terms of the Maclaurin's series expansion. And it is going to be 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 1 over 8x squared. 
Okay, so this is going to be the McLaurin's expanded form. And we're supposed to write down the equation of the normal when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, let's try to write down the equation of the normal. The equation of the normal will be y minus the y coordinate when x is equal to 0. So that is 1. So minus 1 is equal to the gradient of the normal, which is negative 1 over the gradient of the tangent. So negative 1 over dy dx. So negative 1 over dy dx, which is 1 over 2. So this, then x minus, x is going to be equal to 0. So this gives us a y minus 1 is equal to minus 2x. So y is equal to minus 2x plus 1. Mm -hmm.